long time ago when we were learning about linear functions um, what we said was uh, that if we had two points we could write the equation of the line and way back then the equation of the line looked like y equals mx plus b we, we could get that equation we'd find m and we'd find b and and then we'd get a you know an equation that looked like whatever you know something like this well we'd like to do a similar type of thing with uh, exponential functions it'd be great if we had some data and we could come up with the equation that tells us what the rest of the line looks like. So turns out we can. Um, this is a little bit of a contrived example because in, in the real world you don't necessarily take two points and derive an equation from it, especially exponential, um, but, but it's okay. This is good practice for us to get a sense of um, how this could be done and how to work with exponential equations and functions. Um, first of all, let's remind ourselves what does an exponential function look like. It's going to be y equals a times b to the power of x. And what we're looking for, sort of like with the y equals mx plus b, we only want two things. We want a and we want b. Because in our final equation, y is going to still be y and x is going to still be x. So we're going to use these points to help us find a and b. The first thing we'll do, we'll always start with uh, step one, will always be, um, let's, let's use the zero and the one first, because that zero is going to help us big time, watch. Um, remember, it's x comma y. And when we go to start filling in the blanks here, what we see is this, is that the y is one, and that's equal to a times b and the b and the b is raised to the power of x and x is 0 so hopefully you can see how helpful that is if b is raised to the power of 0 what do you get i want you to pause the video for a minute minute and think about it and then i'll well, let's see if we agree okay hopefully you and i both agree that b to the power of 0 is simply 1 and 1 times a is simply a so what we end up with is is the one on the left here is equal to a and that's it and so therefore we have the a and all we got to do is find the b so that was pretty quick and pretty easy um, let's go ahead and in order to find the b we're going to use this other x and this other y and they're going to help us find the b so now that we know a so let's go ahead and let's try um, we've now got y is three and we know, now know a is 1, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. And we don't know b, so we'll say times b. And then we'll raise that to the power of x, which is negative 1. So um, from this, we should be able to solve for b. Now, um, let's rewrite this. This looks like 3 equals, remember b to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over b. And in order to solve this, we could use cross multiplication. Uh, remember, this is 3 over 1. And we could go ahead and just multiply these two guys together, the, the 1 and the 1, and the b and the 3. And then we say to ourselves this. We say this means that 3b must equal 1. And then we go ahead and divide both sides, and we get b equals 1 third. Okay, and so now we know A and we know B. I'm going to go ahead and circle my intermediate results. These are not my final results, so I will not box them. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put them back into this function, and then we'll be done. So we get Y equals um, the A is 1, um, and I don't really have to write it, but I will for this example, times, in parentheses, 1 third, raised to the power of x. And that is my exponential equation given these two points. And something uh, that I'd like you to think about for a moment, uh, is this exponential growth or exponential decay? Um, pause the video for a minute, think about it, and then I'll let you know. Hopefully you guessed this is exponential decay. And the reason why is because this guy, which is known as B, is greater than zero <clears throat> and less than one. And for that reason, if we, and by the way, it'd be kind of fun to put this into Desmos and graph it and take a look and see what the picture looks like. And while you're doing that, think about the asymptote and think about the domain and think about the range.
Let's try one more example just to make sure that we got this down. So we've got two points and we'd like to write the exponential equation that those two points represent. So again we start off with the idea that y equals a times b to the power of x. This is an exponential function. If we're told that these two points are part of an exponential function then it's okay to try to use them to write the exponential function. So um, let's go ahead and remember that, um, that we'll start with the, the one with the zero and don't forget this is x and this is y and we'll plug them in. We get y is 4. We don't know a, we'd like to know it. We don't know b, we'd like to know it. And we know x is 0. And again, yay, b to the 0 power is simply, do you remember? Yeah, hopefully you do. Um, anyways, um, that gives us uh, 4 equals a because a times 1 is simply a. Um, and then with that we should be able to use that 4 and these two x and y's, these guys, um, to figure out what b is. Let's give it a shot. So we'll say y, 12, is equal to 4, which is the a, um, times b, which is what we're looking for raised to the power of this new x which is 1. And we kinda got lucky that that is just a 1 because it makes b really easy to find. All we gotta do is divide both sides by 4. Um, this could easily be a 2 or a 3 and if it was we'd have to then use a square root or a cube root in order to get b by itself. In this case we simply get that um, b equals 12 divided by 4 which is 3. That's a nice simple result. And, uh, and so We've got an intermediate result of A, we've got an intermediate result of B, we'll put them together into this function and then we'll, we'll write out our final result. Um, we, we say that our function for these two points, if we are told that they are an exponential function, um, is going to be 4 times 3 raised to the power of x and that is our exponential function given these two points. Yay!